Hello, my name is Peter, and I was going to talk to you a little bit today about the GDELT project. GDELT project being one of the world's largest real-time fee database, uh, which actually store and contain uh, events information globally for all, a little over 40 years of events, going everything from local elections, demonstrations, natural disasters, international conflicts and wars, and what have you. All this uh, information is actually stored in a... Uh, in a Google BigQuery database that I'm connecting to here using Tableau, using a live connector. So I'm taking a peek into this database uh, in real time and looking at uh, five, almost 572 million records uh, that we see over time here. And uh, if I'm taking an entire view of that, we can see that all this information over 40 years have a couple of little bumps here from the 90s going forward we have the introduction of internet around 2005 2006 the introduction of twitter twitter then uh, facebook and after facebook in the 2012 2013s we got an uh, introduction of instagram making it all the easier all the better all the smoother for all kind of people to log and store and transmit uh, all kind of real-time information about events that are going on in their uh, uh, areas uh, being this able to to track that information so looking at that over 40 years uh, 572 million records what kind of information is that then so if I take uh, quad class information I can divide this up into different uh, uh, inf uh, pieces so if I join that with uh, what I have in the database quad class codes We can then see that we have some uh, verbal cooperation, verbal conflicts, material cooperation, and the worst part of these uh, events and conflicts being the material conflicts uh, that could escalate into to wars and such. So we see the the increase over time. So uh, what is what kind of events do we have here? If we're looking at, for example, uh, all kinds of articles. We have uh, 6.4 billion uh, articles uh, being stored in the database as of uh, today, uh, April 2019. So out of those 6.4 billion records that I'm pulling out here, uh, let me take a look at that in uh, what we call uh, event root code. Event root code, if I drill down on that, is a number of different uh, subsets of, for example, quad class codes as well back to event root codes and let's use that translation to see what those are uh, consulting public statement fight appeal so a lot of these uh, categories of uh, of events uh, that have been taking place i can use quad class translation to uh, filter in that as well and now we can use the same uh, coloring schema here as we saw before so if i rename this and say events over time and the next one then being uh, events by uh, uh, call it classification and then next to each other and I'm able to uh, make some sort of uh, decent uh, comparison and uh, to see what kind of verbal uh, uh, cooperations we have going on and what has been going on in terms of conflicts over time disapprove reject threaten demand and then we the the different types of uh, situation becoming more uh, uh, serious we're getting the material cooperation and, and conflicts I can take this and make this a floating object uh, making it maybe bit easier to uh, to review over time and uh, save and share and publish this uh, call it events dashboard like that so where uh, have these uh, events and conflicts been taking place uh, uh, geographically so let's take a look at that in terms of a world map and also we can see different kinds of protests that have been going on in the world 
So I'm putting that out here and we can see we got large bubbles in different places of the world and a really, really large one in the United States of America. I don't necessarily think that there have been more serious material uh, uh, conflicts in the USA than in uh, some of the other parts of the world, but more people have been uh, starting to use the social media efforts to track and uh, store and uh, report these events. So we see an increase uh, from that event, but also uh, from all over the world. What the GDEL project has is a sensitivity sentiment analysis called the Goldstein scale that they use. And let's put that on color. And now we can see uh, a little bit smoother where uh, seriousness and the uh, sentiments of uh, the different type of protests and so forth have been going on. Uh, using the map features of Tableau, I can use the light, normal, uh, satellite, Outdoors, since we're actually leveraging the map box uh, vector style uh, charts in this uh, version that I'm using here. But I'm going to revert to the regular uh, darker background so we can e quite easily see the, uh, the difference of these uh, events uh, taking place over time. Because what I want to do is show this, uh, what has been going on over time. So if I drop year, in this case, uh, over this map, and we can see when we start this from 1979, and if I put the speed to medium here, we can see that uh, as this player moves along in the 80s, uh, not a whole lot uh, in terms of large scale uh, conflicts, but 80, 89 is when the Tiananmen Square in China took place. There were not that many events uh, uh, being reported, but the Iraq campaign and the initiation of the Iraqi war and the Middle East and conflicts created more. And we can see towards the middle of the 2000s, where we had uh, uh, more social media uh, aspects taking place, the election of uh, President Obama, and of course the elections now late in 2012-16 uh, um, of uh, President Trump. So we can see over time how these uh, events have been tracked and stored and, and reported and now being stored in this database. So also let's uh, call this uh, events by region. So the great thing here that I could use for this is uh, I could create myself a little um, story, storybook about and uh, take this, like this and uh, drop this first here and say uh, events over time uh, increase by media and uh, We can say we have more and more, uh, more and more serious conflicts, but uh, still uh, still less uh, material conflicts, which is uh, of course good. And uh, let's also include the uh, events over time. We can see. Uh, by the increase of uh, the more events being reported by the use of uh, social media. And of course I could, uh, to begin with, include the So this is a neat way for me to, uh, to uh, analyze this data, call it the uh, G dealt story and uh, I can click through this uh, using my text how I can explain the events over time the increase of social media how they've been playing out we've seen more and more conflicts seriousness of conflicts but still uh, yes. thank you thank God uh, less material conflict but uh, still being uh, increased and uh, of course the increase of social media have uh, equal more events being uh, reported the important part about this is that I want to uh, highlight, of course, is uh, being able to do this, working with, for example, uh, 572 million records in real time, of course, using a live connector and not reverting to any in-memory extract solutions, brings the power of analytics, brings the power of uh, 
analytics at scale when using uh, proper tools and proper technologies. And that's it for me. Thank you very much. <laughs>